Welcome to Tsuji This Week. I'm Siri Su. Thank you for joining us. Coming up in this week's top stories, city volunteers in the United States reach out to the marginalized in the fierce winter. City volunteers in China and Malaysia hold year-end banquets for their care recipients ahead of the Lunar New Year. And TMI members in Taiwan conduct medical outreach services in New Taipei City and Taitung for those in need. In the United States, city volunteers have been reaching out to the marginalized in different ways. In California, volunteers in Oakland invite former inmates to enjoy a vegetarian lunch every week. At the occasion, volunteers will share a jinsu aphorism with them, giving former inmates food for thought. While in Seattle, Washington, in the face of fierce winter, city volunteers have been giving out blankets and scarves to help the homeless. Seattle in January has been incredibly cold, despite the sunny skies. Many homeless people on the street are not adequately dressed to face the winter cold. Tsuji volunteers and Tsujings are there to deliver blankets and winter clothes in a local park. That you have come out here in the cold to help homeless people. What a blessing this is, and thank you so much. You want to wear it right now? The volunteers are distributing blankets, toiletries, and wool socks. I like the color. Yeah. Oh, wonderful. Uh -huh. okay. okay, you take care. Mm -hmm. To welcome the new year, Tsuji's Seattle branch office also held a year-end gathering. With more than 130 people in attendance, it was also the first gathering at the new branch office. As we continue to advance our work here in Seattle, we really aim to be a part of the community here so we can thrive together. The volunteers are cheerfully keeping warm in their new offices. They are finishing this year with a vegetarian banquet and hoping the next year will be an auspicious one. At the Tsuji Oakland office in California, a spiritual exchange precedes the weekly hot meal service for returning citizens. A returning citizen decided to write his thoughts down in a letter. I just think that if the world had more people doing kind things like you guys are doing, it would help. You know, we got to end all this violence and spread more love. Busy cooking up a meal, the volunteers all look forward to the weekly lunch date. By warming the body with fresh, healthy, vegetarian food, the volunteers hope their love can help these returning citizens stay on the righteous path. In different parts of the world, more people have come to embrace vegetarianism for both health and conservation reasons. In Tainan of Taiwan, a steel factory decided to treat its employees to buffet-style vegetarian lunches every day. While in Taichung, a couple held a vegetarian wedding banquet for their guests to experience the benefits of adopting a vegetarian diet. But let's first take a look at elementary school in New York of the United States, which provides only meat-free options. What we were looking at was what are the healthiest options? What are the options that are available to us that are our healthy, nutritious, cost-effective, approved by the Office of School Foods? It initially came from the kids, though, the idea that what they were eating might not be the healthiest option. That led us to the menu that we have. Our menu has changed to fully vegetarian, and the kids are so much happier with it. student attendance rate has grown each year. We average over 97% daily attendance for the year. We've had some of the highest student achievement in New York State. And last year, we were number 11 overall in the state, according to test scores. I think that it's important for kids to be exposed to all the different types of food and also just um, moving forward in life that they would just 
think consciously about the foods that they choose and think about how that affects their performance in later life as well. We're very interested to show everybody you know, that this is possible and it can have a positive effect. That's what we want to do and we, we want to show what is possible. This wedding banquet in Taichung has booked 100 tables to symbolize 100 years of good marriage. As the bride has been a vegetarian for nearly seven years, she wants someone who is passionate about the diet just as she is. Master Zheng Yin is promoting vegetarianism. As her disciples, we must do the same. We're showing people that Mila's meals taste wonderful. We don't have to resort to killing animals and producing carbon dioxide. In this kitchen in Tainan, vegetables are being boiled instead of stir-fried to reduce oil intake. We only use organic vegetables and don't use any MSG. The flavor is on the lighter side. We also ease back on oil and salt. Every day the kitchen prepares six dishes and a soup plus a salad bar, enough to feed 600 people. This is the cafeteria of Dacheng International, and its employees can eat here free of charge. I tell my own family to eat more vegetables and more fiber and eat less meat. Having personally experienced the benefits of a healthier diet, the employees now share it with their families. Thanks to the thoughtfulness of the management, even businesses can be a cultivation ground. In the Philippines, local city volunteers have held a year-end blessing ceremony for the residents of Pinamalaya in the Oriental Mindoro province as these residents are still recovering from the devastation brought by Typhoon Miller, city volunteers hope the ceremony will help ease their anxious hearts. On the day following the year-end blessing ceremony, city volunteers also distributed rice to residents in need. Although many residents came to the distribution without vultures, city volunteers still made sure that all those who came received the much-needed rice. Let's take a look. Invited by the City Philippines chapter, residents of the Pinamalayan came prepared. With vouchers for their relief goods in hand, they also remembered to bring bags of PET bottles for recycling because not long ago they heard from City volunteers that bottles could be made into blankets. The typhoon did serious damage across many cities. With the help of Chinese businesses in Oriental Mindoro, City has prepared 20 kilos of white rice, one blanket, two bundles of secondhand clothes, and 3,000 pesos of relief money for each household. The help you all provide is different from others. You don't just give us relief supplies, you also share your principles. We're all deeply moved. You all really love us. A 46-year-old disaster victim decides to put on a volunteer's vest to help carry the rice and relish in the joy of giving. Although it's very difficult and very hard, we have received all this help. This is just our way to give something back. It takes six hours from Manila to reach the disaster area to carry out the distribution. But for city volunteers, helping to solve the urgent problems of these residents is the first priority. First by land and then by sea, city volunteers spent a whole day traveling to reach the Pinamalayan town in the Philippines' Oriental Mindoro province. Although the next day, volunteers will be distributing relief goods for victims of Typhoon Malor, this night they are holding a year and blessing ceremony for the town's Chinese business representatives. I thank Suji for coming to Oriental Mindoro. The Chinese businesses here are all very grateful. They all heard about tonight's event and all quickly came to participate. With your help, we have more faith that we can rise again. With all of you here, we have more courage and will recover much sooner. City volunteers spent six hours traveling from Manila to Mindoro. Watching videos of City's work in the past has given everyone a much deeper understanding of the charity's work. I also want to be as you all are, to become a part of City. I want to be a volunteer. After the video I just watched, I think City is full of love. It moved me very much. Thanks to Tsuji's universal love for all, those living in Pinamalayan will not need to worry any longer. 
As the Lunar New Year is approaching, city volunteers around the world have started holding year-end banquets for their care recipients. In China, at the year-end banquet in Quinshan of Jiangsu province, the volunteers also presented a play portraying the life story of a recycling volunteer. They hope the care recipients will be inspired to give of themselves for watching the play. But let's first join city volunteers in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, where 216 families that local volunteers have been caring for join the year-end banquet and enjoy the performance by members of Tsuji Performance Association of Malaysia. Over 200 families under Tsuji's care come to celebrate the Lunar New Year at the Jingsu Hall today. Grandma Lim Toyat, the first care recipient in Salangor, has been receiving Tsuji's assistance for 20 years. It shows Tsuji's care has always been there. Tsuji volunteers visit me every month. I like it a lot. The songs for the Chinese New Year are being played at the event. Amy, who has been living in Malaysia for 15 years, doesn't understand the lyrics, but she likes to join Tsuji activities. I'm a Muslim, but Tsuji still helps me. Tsuji helps Chinese and also Malays. Master, thank you very much. Care recipients gather to enjoy delicious vegetarian dishes and to celebrate the Lunar New Year. Even the God of Fortune also comes to celebrate the occasion with them. Everyone can pick up three pieces of clothing here, and adults and children seem to be looking for treasure. <laughs> Lastly, care recipients also receive gift packs embedded with city volunteers' well wishes for them to enjoy a wonderful new year. Volunteers from Tsuji's office in Kunsan invite care recipients to the year-end banquet. A doctor has also come to check everyone's health. Then comes the play that portrays recycling volunteer Wang Du Yue's story. Wang Du Yue was a skilled mechanic, but after a sudden stroke, he could no longer control his hands. Later, he was encouraged to join Tsuji, where he discovered his value in the work. Wang also took to the stage to express his gratitude. Thank you so much, Venerable Master, for studying the Tsuji Foundation and helping protect the environment. I'm so happy to help with recycling. Before concluding the banquet, volunteers give everyone cooking oil and a bag of rice, which will help them enjoy the new year without worries. In Taiwan, members of Tima Northern Taiwan chapter recently conducted medical outreach service for residents in New Taipei City, Sanzhi area. Although the weather was not favorable, the volunteers were happy to offer their medical assistance. But let's first take a look at how members from Tima Eastern Taiwan chapter held a free clinic for those in need in Taidong's Taimali. At this occasion, some medical students also tagged along to serve people in need of medical attention. The Tsuji Medical Association's Eastern Taiwan chapter visits the Dawang community in Tai Mari, Tai Dong to offer medical services to residents. You need to take your medicine to keep blood flowing smoothly. If the blood vessels get clogged, the heart can pump well, then you'll start having trouble breathing. A son accompanied his mother to the free clinic. He worries about her habit of not taking her medicine. The doctor also made sure she knew about the dangers of avoiding her medication. If your arteries are cracked, then you have to go through surgery again. Then you'll be too late, even if you take medicine. This is quite serious. You need to get checked at the hospital. Doctors, nurses, and volunteers use their weekends to hold the clinic. Likewise, many medical students join the event for the learning opportunity. Bringing care to this township Doctors and residents alike take heart in the good work. It makes me think of how fortunate I am. Living in a more urban area, things are much more convenient. 
Seeing how inconvenient and difficult things are out here, we realize how much we can really help other people. This is a great opportunity to do that. For those who are unable to seek proper medical treatment, the doctors, nurses, and volunteers are there to provide it, and they are spreading goodwill in the process. Tima's first medical outreach visits in 2016 were conducted in New Taipei City's Sanji area. One elderly resident, 94-year-old Zhu Shunian, was outside waiting for the doctors and nurses. The elderly Miss Zhu lives alone and is quite spry for her age, but she still needs medicine to manage some chronic body pains. I'll record whatever medicine she is currently using, that way the doctor at the next open clinic will know what she needs. Volunteers happily chat with Miss Zhu and even sing her a song. Making these visits, it's like seeing our own parents, caring for them like we are their own kids. We laugh with each other. I think they are quite happy to see us. These visits of the volunteers and medical teams may only be measuring blood pressure or noting medications, but for the elderly, these visits offer some warm company in the cold months of winter. Cities Kuala Lumpur and Selangor chapter in Malaysia help care recipients celebrate the new year. At the event, there were also more than 10 Tima doctors on site giving medical consultations and lessons on healthy living habits. City so volunteers hope that their efforts will ensure these care recipients can start the new year in good health and good spirits. They are all Tsuji care recipients. They have all come to Tsuji's Jingsi Hall in Kuala Lumpur to celebrate the new year. There were also a variety of Tima doctors available on site for free medical consultations. Can you move your head a bit more? Turn it back and forth. Turn back a bit more. Can you relax a bit? Okay, lift out your hands some more. My whole body hurts. I can even sleep. I just get an hour or two sleep every night. I toss and turn till morning. But I saw a Chinese medicine doctor, and his medicine was effective. But I'm short on time since I have to care for my husband and take him to the hospital. Today I had the chance to come here and see the doctor, which was a great relief. I feel much better. It's been very difficult for me to sleep. When I turn, it hurts here. My stroke has caused a lot of pain. The doctor says I need to continue with my treatment. Among the volunteers offering compassion and encouragement here, there is Firas Mukhtar, a speech therapist. For Firas Mukhtar, offering help across religious and ethnic lines is a remarkable experience. Every time I join a Tsuji event, the positive energy I receive can last a week, even a month sometimes. Communicating with people doesn't always require speaking. You can use body languages to help others understand. We just have to smile to show we want to help. People understand. With free medical advice, these care recipients can start the new year in good health and good spirits. In Vietnam, city volunteers also held a year in blessing ceremony, which helped the participants better understand city's work in the past year, while looking forward to celebrating the new year. While many participants brought their field coin banks to donate, care recipients also expressed their gratitude for all the assistance city has given them. <laughs> At 7 in the morning, Tsuji volunteers are already setting up the Year and Blessing Ceremony venue. As participants make donations, volunteers especially prepare coins for them to enjoy the jingling of the coins as it drops into the donation pile. Joining the ceremony is Tsuji care recipient Le Van Dan, who's paralyzed from the waist down due to a fall. He shares on how his life has improved since Tsuji has given him the financial support he needs. I hope for the volunteers' continual support so that I may keep up my rehabilitation and recover soon. I want to stand up on my own once more and give back to society. Watching a film on Suji's work in the past year, the participants praise and acknowledge Suji's charitable deeds. 
Through Ziji's activities and the teachings of Master Zheng Yan, I believe we've inspired everyone's compassion. If everyone continues to act for the betterment of society, then there will be less suffering in the world. The red envelope of blessing and wisdom given on behalf of Master Zheng Yan is seen as a valuable gift to all those who receive it. This is such a great love, such a great love that she has for the world and people in Vietnam. I am very happy to receive this red envelope. This is such a special item to me. I'm 24, and this red envelope has made such an impression on me. With the well wishes in hand, the participants are ready to begin the new year off on the right foot. The Ciji Grounds in Kunshan, Jiangsu, recently held a total of three-year end blessing ceremonies, where people from all walks of life were invited to perform segments from the musical adaptation of the Sutra of Profound Gratitude towards Parents. One particular segment, which talked about the transgression of children, especially resonated with the audience. At the Ciji Grounds in Kunshan, Jiangsu, the musical adaptation of Sutra of Profound Gratitude towards Parents is being performed to remind all to honor their parents. A volunteer also repents publicly. I knelt in front of my mother-in-law and said, Mom, thank you. Thank you for raising such a good son for me to meet and to be married to. Thank you for helping me raise my two children. For all the past quarrels between us, I am to blame, for I behaved poorly. I vow to be filial to you always from now on and be a good daughter-in-law. Another volunteer lost her mother suddenly to illness, which taught her that one truly cannot wait to be filial. Though my mom is no longer here, she has given me this body, and with it I shall continue to do good for the sake of humanity. I shall transcend the love between us to universal love. That's how I will honor my mother. The musical was performed each time during the three-year end blessing ceremonies held at the Kunshan grounds. Among those performing, the youngest was five while the oldest was 72 years old. Everyone now knows to honor their elderly and to nurture their young. Though a candle is concrete, its light is intangible. May everyone illuminate the light in their heart so they may find a path to bliss and harmony through the ceremonies. At the year and blessing ceremonies held at the Tsuji Guandu grounds in Taipei, participants are given delicious rice snacks at the end of the events. These rice snacks are especially made by kitchen volunteers to fill up people's stomachs as well as warming up their hearts. We'll leave you with these images. Thank you for joining us. See you next week.